I was in a car, I was a passenger in a car reading my cell phone and I got a message asking me to call Sir Richard Friend, um, which I assumed was about this award. And I looked up who he was. And so I guessed at that point that I was probably a winner of this award. And I looked up how much the award was and it was much more than I expected. Um, and so I told my partner, um, I think I just won a $3 million award. And she said she thought I was joking. Um, I had to show her, I had to show her the email for her to believe it. My And first reaction was, um, they really spare the money. Um, it's, a, it's a developing country. I was very surprised that anybody in Vietnam um, could produce an award like that. I knew very little about Vietnam. I hadn't paid much attention to Vietnam since to, and since the 1960s when I was a student. Um, and uh, I, was very, I was very ignorant about the history of Vietnam. And I knew nothing about the Vinh Group. I didn't understand how successful the Vinh Group was. And I didn't understand how rapidly Vietnam was developing. It was probably about a week before I learned who the other co laureates were. I was very pleased to see that um, Chen Su Huang got it, and also Fei Fei Li, because two of the most important things in the development of neural nets was being able to get enough computation, and the NVIDIA chips were wonderful for that. Um, not just the hardware, but the software made them easy to use. And I've been a big proponent of those chips for a long time. Um, and Fei Fei Li had made a wonderful database for doing vision, um, for testing programs that can recognize objects and images. And so they were both very important in the development of deep learning. And it was very nice to see them on it, as well as um, Joshua and Yan and me, who were important in developing the algorithms for deep learning. It makes a lot of sense. It's It's clear to me that people like um, Jensen Huang producing the hardware at NVIDIA and also some people at the large companies like Jeff Dean at Google and um, Dennis Hassabis at DeepMind. Um, they were both very important too in the development and they both work in industry. And I think it's, it's good to just honor the people who are crucial in the development of it, independent of where they work. Doom Future has more flexibility, probably. It's got less history and strengths on what is done with the prize. And so I think it's unlikely that the Nobel Prize committees would have awarded a Nobel Prize to Jensen Huang. Um, it's partly because they don't have a Nobel Prize for that. <laughs> um, so in that sense, you have a lot more flexibility. You don't have a limited range of things that, can, you, that they can give a Nobel Prize for. Um, but it's also um, a, a novel thing to do and very, very good that you could use your flexibility to do things like that. I think there's a problem, which is that there's been a lot of sexism over the last hundred years. So there's been, there's many fewer women in um, areas like um, computer science and engineering than there should be. Um, that's a result of historical... Um, prejudice. What you do about it now is tricky because it means there are fewer, fewer very distinguished women scientists. The ones that are obviously extremely good. Um, they've had to deal with a difficult system. Um, but I don't know what you do about the fact that there's um, many fewer women than there should be because of the historical injustices. Um, I leave that to politicians to deal with. Yeah. Obviously, if you're a young researcher, seeing that there are big prizes um, is very positive and encouraging. Um, and the prize was very motivating. And I think these big prizes, uh, they, do they do motivate people. Mm. I also think, I, I like the idea that you have a grand prize, but you have some prizes that are still very big, but not as big as the grand prize. And I think it's, that's a good idea. I think um, smaller prizes are also very useful. Only those aren't smaller prizes. They're still big prizes. Um, I certainly think that um, a big prize like the Vim Future Prize can make leading scientists far more aware of what's happening in Vietnam. So I think, I think as a result of this prize, there's now 
collaboration between Jensen Huang and Vietnam. Um, I don't know much about that collaboration, but I think it's had a significant influence there. And that will surely affect the Vietnamese economy. 